Welcome back to Elden Ring guys, in this episode we'll be taking on the High Road Cave. Because we left off at the Beast Sanctum, we are going to go ahead and grab the Sincada, or Kincada, I don't know exactly how I was supposed to pronounce this. Um, this will have most of this area, or this kind of northern area of Kalia done for us, which is rather nice. And basically we're just going to leave the Beast Steel Sanctum and then come on over to the, to the western side here. What we're looking for is the drop off, where is it? Where is it? There is a cave. We're going to want to get off the horse for this. There is a... Is it this bit? No, it's nowhere that branch is. We've got to go a bit further along. A bit further along. Do -do 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 -do. And there it is, the branch that we can go to. So we're going to just roll out onto that branch. Now, we picked up a single piece of soft cotton earlier. And this is likely to be a good place to, to use some of that. I don't quite know how much damage we take doing this. This could have, It could have been better for us to wait until um, we have the Silver Cat Talisman. But we're going to try doing it now anyway. If I fail, I fail. And we'll just uh, come back later. It's not really an issue. We're going to come over this way. We're aiming for that roof now that you can see. And then we are pretty safe on this level now. We're going to avoid the bats. There is other loot here, um, but we want to just be as careful as we can. We don't want to get knocked off now that we've used our soft cotton, because getting back down here could be kind of painful. Don't think there's more loot on this one. We've got to get all the way down to the bottom for the Sincada, so just checking. Hello, we've got a Sanctuary Stone. I guess that's mildly useful. Um, we should be able to do this pretty much anywhere along here, but we're just going to come over to this bit. And then obviously now we're going to need to make sure we are healed. Let's take, take care of you before we head on over. Oops. And then we're going to jump on over this way. Now, I believe, if you're not careful, this is where we could die. So we do need to make sure we land as high as we can coming from here. And also make sure we don't jump, as that extends the damage that gets given to you if you are um, going to take damage from a fall. I can't remember if there's anything on this level. We'll just do a quick, a quick path over. Oh, we've got a new soft cotton. That's rather useful. Steal with you. A bit unfortunate that one of the rocks is hitting the side there. That's going to be painful now. Wait. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't take damage on this jump specifically, so we'll just hit there. Oh, there would be a bat right in front of me. really got to make sure this doesn't kill me. There we are. Okay, so we're going to use soft cotton that it just gave us. And then we're going to want to, again, try to hit this side here. Like that. And then just come on off without jumping. Oh no, it was an instant death. Oh dear. Okay, then I can't remember exactly which pillar we start on, um, but it should all be the same. It should basically come out to a middle one and then turn around and come back onto here. So I don't actually know what it is that I missed there before. Onto here, and then apparently it's a death if we go straight down there. So let's go with going across to there in the middle. So that's a little bit lower, I suppose. And then maybe let me get onto that. Nope. There we go. Apparently that wasn't a death. How strange. That tiny little amount. I can't help but feel like that was a bit weird. In any case, that's gotten us down to the bottom. So we need it, it. So for literally like that tiny little bit, it wants you to just jump out and then onto the little middle of that ledge and then back in. Okay, okay. I really don't remember that being a death, but hey, here, here is going to be the Sin Carter anyway. 
back to there. I think there's something at the end here that we want as well. So we're just going to grab it. I can't remember what it is, but I know there was something else down here. There we go. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> um, that's extra physical defense for us if we wish to use it. With that done, we can now make our way to the, uh, where are we? The High Road Cave. It's probably not a bad talisman. I feel like stamina regen is still more important for us right now, but if you feel like you're dying a lot and, uh, you know, you want to reduce physical damage, it's pretty good. Which makes it all nice and reset here. And we can make our way into the High Road Cave. It's a series of drop-offs, because, you know, that's how we want it to be. Take that soft cotton off now, there's no point in wasting that. Eventually we won't we'll, we'll need it anyway, because we'll just have the, uh, the silk cat talisman, but... It's cool anyway. Oh, you know what, I didn't even rec rec collect my runes. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. I'll do that after this video if I happen to not die. Yeah, let's deal with all you. We don't want no ambushes coming for me. Which is usually what makes me go down the middle of the uh, the thing if, it, if it's going to happen. Um, I don't think it's an insta-death. We can drop down there, but... I'm going to do this first. There's like a waterfall series of drop-offs in this bit, and... That's usually where I die. So, I'm probably going to die and lose like 4k runes, which is kind of hilarious. Getting all the way to the boss in this one's actually going to be kind of brutal because that's a lot of enemies we've got to kill just getting in here. At least we'll have loot all. So as long as I save one flash to be able to summon my to me, to just to be able to summon my guy, we should be pretty good. Sorry, I was really stuttering bad there. Right, over we go. Down to la bottom. Left leads to an item first. Or west, let's go with west. No, it doesn't, it's just a dead end. Cave boss. Counts, right? Many wolves. I don't to be fooled by any of them. There's one in ahead of us as well. I don't think we can see it right now. There's not any more below us. Definitely one ahead of us waiting for our rush. Where are you? No, nope, guess not. I thought there was more than that. Is this the waterfall room? Whoa, I knew it was ahead of us, just a bit further ahead. <laughs> Here's your friend. Let's go to you. Yeah, it's the waterfall room. Yeah, so that's the way forward. We want to go the other way first. Clearly, to get the loot on the ledge. This next bit's going to be kind of troublesome. I believe. Artery leaves. It's actually very good. It's an alpha! Oh wow. They're waiting for us to uh, come towards the, the exit here. Okay, so. You should be able to see we've got lots of enemies here. Unfortunately, we don't have the range for them. There are spells that have that kind of range, but we don't have access to the spells right now. Just start a second one there, just in case I needed it. And they are going to try to ambush you when you go and get that item, so just be careful. So from here we want to go onto the waterfall. Like this. 
As I said, it's going to be troublesome here. There's still more of them. Where are they? But there's more than that. Where are you? Is it just these? I felt like it was a bit more swarmy than that. I'm doing more damage than I expected to do. That's really kind of interesting. Let's see if we can just reach out a little bit. Can I get you from here? Should be able to. At least it makes my job a little bit easier. There's more of it, another one over that way. We won't reach that. Now, when I was streaming, somebody on my stream was able to get down there. So let's try that. There we are. It's going to use some of this. What we got earlier. Let's see if this is doable. So I thought this was a death floor. But apparently we can get onto this. Yeah, we did. Cool. Okay, we're going to do a jumpy trick onto there. Um, can I reach you? If we can reach you, we're actually pretty safe to clear the enemies out. Here we go. I should make this pretty uh, reasonable, actually. Let's get a bit of FP in. Shamshia. I think I ever did that as a video. I think you can get them naturally anyway. It would be weird actually to have that there as a weapon. Okay, I uh, don't really need you. Come around this way. So around here is going to be one of the big tentacle creatures. Up there. Let's, uh, let's be serious about fighting you because you'll be nasty if not. Now if we can stun this, we should be good. Like that. Come here. Because we do good stun damage. Is that everything in here? I think it is. It's not even guarding anything good. That's a... It's a chip and a half, isn't it? Anyway, passing through the cave. At least I was right. Five minutes in the previous episode would not have been enough for this. And calling remedy. And then to the waterfall. That would have been a real nasty place for them to put something to knock you off, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm so glad they didn't do that. Okay, uh, so recover FP. We have another stone we control in here. We faced one of these before. I think this one's a bit harder, but. It's really not going to be much of a different fight. I think this one has like, um, oh, it's a giant. Oh, I was thinking about the one that had a load of uh, fiery stuff in there. In which case, this should be fine. Yeah, make sure we get out of the way of that. Rapey's going to finish you here. Oh no, I missed. Come on. Oh, it won't let me in for the stun. That's not fair. That's supposed to be my trick, is crits. I mean, it's got to be game over now, right? There we go, Blue Dancer Charm. Which I believe disguises our footprint, uh, footsteps. Oh, raises attack power with lower equip load. Oh. Uh, oh, I wonder if that works on spells. We're going to have to test that. I've not tried that. Being as we're going light, this could actually be good for us. What can we test on? Oh yeah, the uh, actual good place to test things. Let's just have a quick, quick play with this. I just need to know if it affects spells. It could be 
even minor as, a, as far as damage boosts go. It could be good. Right, so I just need a pebble on you, right? Just a pebble. Come here. 184. Let's just finish her off. Oh. Note that it's different if it's aware or unaware, okay? So we just get to see a bigger change in percentage if we do it wise unaware. So 184. Hopefully it's not just physical attack that it does it too. 184. 184, okay, so it doesn't affect spells. Okay, it's no use for me at all. That's a shame. Let's just double check. Sometimes when something says it upgrades attack, it upgrades all attacks. Sometimes it doesn't, so it's just worth having a look. Just a double check. Yeah, so. Okay. So back to uh, Greed Turtle Talisman. It's the only one worth having for us right now. So, what do we have left to do in Limgrave? We have Dragon Boy to take care of. We have... Let's do... We don't have very long, and I'd rather start with the dragon than finish with the dragon. So we've got three things left to do in Limgrave. We've got Dragon Boy, we've got... Weeping Jail to do because we need to rematch with Pain over there. And we have, realistically speaking, the Smouldering Church to deal with because... We should clean all of those up. So let's go with... Let's go with the Smouldering Church. So we'll go to Rockview Balcony. And then we can make a way over here to get the invasion. Again, we want to deal with all invasions before we deal with any form of area boss. So we'll get this one done. This is obviously going to be classed as Kaelid, so I don't think this will be affected by anything like uh, Limgrave's Deathbird or anything, which we can probably deal with. We're not strong enough for the uh, Knight's Cavalry, I don't think. So we should end up coming off of the horse naturally any second now. Just tag this. It's not coming. Where are you? Come here. Please don't be linked to the Tibby Mariner. That would be painful. There we go. So it's going to uh, arrive right there. Let's just be ready for that. We're just going to take a few steps back. There, we should be good. So it doesn't really dodge the rocks at all. That's a problem for you, isn't it, huh? I guess it just moves too slow for you to register. If you do something like this, like a shield, just dodge it. Oh, yeah. Got you. Sacred Scorpion Charm. It's not really good for us. Um, that's a real good charm to get this early, though, if you're doing a uh, holy build. So just to show this, there is one for magic of this, but it's way later game. This is an increase to holy damage at the expense of your physical resistances. So this actually made me take extra resistance, even though we're on. That's crazy. Um, so let's source that out. I guess next, then, we should go and do the uh, the Everjail. Weeping Everjail. So let's go over there. Okay, so... Let's go on over. Hopefully I don't die this time. Ooh, we I think we have enough for a level. Yeah, let's help myself not die this time. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with endurance. I hope that, that gets me close to putting some gloves on. Yes, finally. I can have gloves again. <laughs> okay, uh, so it should just be to the east of me. funny that like we have to celebrate being able to actually wear gloves the lightest gloves in the game come on let's hope to win otherwise i am not going to be able to get my old runes back that we dropped on the way down to the cincada now that i know that this is a pain in the ass for you to dodge let's get out of here like this and just absolutely Really is difficult for you to dodge, isn't it? Even when you try. FP. Come on. Give us a stun. Give us a stun. That's lovely. Thank you. There 
There we go, completely different fight. GG. <laughs> Radigan Sorcier. All done. Okay, then, so with that done, we're going to go ahead and move to... You're actually back there, that's real strange. Considering it was up there a second earlier. Uh, we'll move to the... Yeah, Seaside Ruins, which is where we're going to take Akil from. Obviously, we're going to end the episode here. We'll start with Akil in the next episode. And once I've spent these runes, I'm going to attempt to get my old runes back. And uh, hopefully, I will meet you guys there soon. Some extra FP sounds good to me. See you all in a bit.